I visited Canada a little while ago and my cousin swore up and down that I needed to try some Kit Kats while I was up there because of how much better they are there than they are in the States. And at first, I didn't believe them. I was like, what? No way, dude. And they were like, yes way, fam. And I was like, no way. But, you know, it's, it's free chocolate and I mean, I am willing to have my mind changed. And I'm here to tell you today, they were right. They were absolutely right. It's to the point where I'll only either buy imported chocolate or make my own. You'll never guess which option is cheaper. Anyways, it's settled. I'm making my own dang chocolate right here, right now. And I don't even need no stinking recipe to do it. I would start with cacao pods, but those things are ungodly expensive unless you live near where they're grown. And uh, I don't. Plus, I don't want to stink up my mom's kitchen while I get them ready for making. So we're going to go with the next best thing, cacao nibs. <coughs> Making chocolate at home actually doesn't take that many steps. It's just getting your ingredients, roasting, grinding, smoothing, and tempering. Smoothing, professionally known as conching the chocolate, takes some equipment that A, I don't have, and B, I don't want to pay for. So we're just not going to do it. Anywho, the goal is to make some chocolate that's better than the big boys. So uh, let's get right on to it. All right, it's time for step one, roasting the beans. Observe. Boy! I think a good roasting session did my cacao nibs a whole lot of good. I mean, they actually smell chocolatey now instead of like a whole lot of uh... Well, they smelled like vinegar. I'm going to make 65% dark chocolate with this batch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss it into the food processor. Then I'm going to get my sugar. And because I am built differently, I'm going to add a little high-end pepper. Because, you know, what could go wrong? got to see this. I think the two just fully separated. It's light brown on the outside and then it's like dark brown on the inside. I think I might have put the sugar in too early. Whoopsie. For my own sanity, I'm going to believe that we're uh, making progress here. Oh, this is interesting. It's clearly a powder, but it's starting to feel kind of kind of moist. Kind of want to taste it. I shouldn't, and yet I'm gonna do it anyway. I forgot just how many tasting spoons I go through when I make things. Let's see here. What? Honestly, it's not bad. I know I'm making a face, but that's because like the cocoa bit hit me really hard. But it's honestly not bad. This is like chocolate. Eat. You could definitely build on that. Okay, so I have a wee bit of a problem. The powder is staying powdery. I gotta figure something out. I don't think I added enough stuff to like the cacao nibs to get it to like liquefy, so. You see that right there, that cloudiness? Yeah, that means that there's cocoa butter in there, but like there's not enough fat to get it to fully work out. So I'm gonna add coconut cream and pray everything works out. I lied actually, I didn't add coconut cream. What I did add though was honey and lots of it. You know, honey is a free browser. No, no, no. Actually, it's just useful because it's sweet, it's liquid, and it has no water in it. Remember guys, number one rule of being in the kitchen, be resourceful with what you have on hand. Okay, not bad considering I was doing an entirely vibes-based recipe. The next step in making our chocolate is very important. It's called tempering. That's how you get it to look shiny when you put it in a mold and let it cool down. I'm going to set up a little double boiler action on the stove. This is gonna be filled with ice so that I can keep the chocolate below 90 degrees at all times. Ice! This is a reasonable amount of ice to have in a bowl at 1 a.m. Here's our handy dandy thermometer. Let's get this chocolate in the bowl. After entirely too long trying to make this work, I have, drum roll please, This bowl that does not look questionable at all. Let's see what we got on our hands. Dang it, I'm gonna need a new tasting spoon. Could definitely stand to cool down a little bit. It's got some very fruity notes to it. Definitely grainy, but that's just as homemade and I don't have a very expensive piece of equipment. This is like milk chocolate, but for grownups, you know? It's pretty good, but let's see how it stacks up. All right, here are our contestants. On door number one, we have Kit Kat. 
Door number two, we have Cadbury Dairy Milk made by the Hershey Company. Sort of, it's complicated. It's not the same as a Hershey bar. And number three, the original, except no substitutes. Do not share this with your European friends because they will think that it tastes like vomit. The Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar. And number four, this chocolate adjacent salt. <laughs> Here's my wee taste test. Oh wait, hold on, this is actually imported. This is not made by Hershey. It does not have American nutrition facts on it. Bless the supermarket near me, I will not be ratting them out. It's definitely really sweet. There's a deep milk flavor to it, which I guess makes sense seeing as it's called dairy milk. I really like Cadbury's offering. It's better than mine. Here's the American Kit Kat. Yeah. There's chocolate, sort of. It's like there's a suggestion of the presence of milk chocolate. The wafers don't really have a taste either. Whoever's in charge of Nestle products in the United States, count your days. Your chocolate is horrible. All right, next, the American favorite, Hershey's milk chocolate. Let's see if I actually like this now. Oh, yeah, it, it smells. I know why it smells like that, but yeah, it's, it's better than the Kit Kat, so I can actually taste something. People who say that Hershey's chocolate tastes like vomit were honestly onto something. No wonder I don't like that. I can never put my finger on why, but then someone's like, oh, it tastes like vomit. I'm like, no, no, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like vomit. So definitive tier ranking, I'm gonna go with dairy milk, then whatever the heck this is back here, then Kit Kat and Hershey's. I need something to get that out of my mouth. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Quick postscript. So my homemade chocolate has been in the fridge for an indeterminate amount of time. You know, I have it right here. I gotta say that I think that having it just like chill out has made it even better. There's bits that are pretty smooth and it tastes a lot better. Something about it being like nice and chilly. I enjoy that. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitch at JJNQ5. Also, a quick shout out to my patrons. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.